What up? It's KP the Sports Chick. So, Andre Johnson retired this week uh, after week eight, uh, the halfway point in the season, which seems to be a trend with Texans players, former Texans players, uh, in the last week because Arian Foster obviously retired at the beginning of last week. And so now this week, um, Andre Johnson is following suit. I don't doubt they had a conversation about it as I, you know, as I talk about it, but Andre Johnson to me has, I won't say he was underrated, but I'll definitely say that he was underappreciated in the 12 years that he was with Houston. Now, and I say that for a certain group of people that underappreciated him because, you know, the fans loved him. I, he's, you know, as a Texans fan myself, he will always be my favorite Texan, J.J. Watt or not. Like, he's always going to be my favorite Texan because he was consistent year after year after year for this team, and he was great when we sucked. And then when we were great, or, or the greatest that we were, they kind of slacked on giving him the ball a little bit. So, and then when DeAndre got here, it was, he was all but forgotten about. But, you know, Andre Johnson's very classy. He, you know, wrote an Instagram post today. I think, you know, Charlie Casserly, the Texans organization for being a class act and for, you know, helping him live his dreams for 12 years. And he thanked the fans of Houston and said, you know, to the Houston fans, Houston's my home. I'm coming home. I'll always be a Texan. And that's what's up. You know, I think he's a classy dude. But getting the football... He was never utilized the way that he deserved to be utilized, like a, like a, like a, um, Jerry Rice. You know what I mean? Like he was on that level, but he was never able to show it because he never had a solid quarterback or a franchise quarterback that was there to help him. Um, maybe not even so much help him, but a, you know, to have that that kind of. Montana Rice Bond or Steve, uh, uh, oh, the names failing me right now. Uh, Steve Young and Jerry Rice Bond, you know, two that were the best at what they do together on the same team, building each other up year after year after year. He never had that. He was consistently good, and the quarterbacks were consistently mediocre, and that, and that's just how the cards were dealt for him, and. It was kind of like also another Houston situation where Hakeem Olajuwon ended his career in Toronto as opposed to Houston where he spent his entire career. And Andre Johnson went to, he ended it, you know, he's retiring with the Titans, but went to the Colts for a year. And that was just kind of like a throwaway year. It didn't even make sense for him to even be there. And he shouldn't have even been let go. I feel like he's one of those situations, okay, where you do not trade this dude no matter what. He is your, like, let him retire here. Or get him back and let him retire here. He should never left in the first place. So, with all that said, do you think that he will be a first ballot hall, hall of Famer? Do you think he will be in the talks to be a Hall of Famer? Like Yao Ming was. Or now is a Hall of Famer because he never won a championship. But he changed the way ch the Chinese looked at the NBA. And now, you know, if they didn't love it before, they definitely love it now. And, you know, other players in the league. And they embrace basketball more so than they did before, if at all, or as much. And I think that's a big reason why, yeah, I was inducted into the Hall of Fame. He was, you know, when he was good, he was great. Same could be said about Andre Johnson, but he was more consistent player. He played, he was he he wasn't out that often, but he was underutilized. Do we put is he at fault for that? Because at the end of the day, it's about what you put out on the field, your product once you're on the field. And so, do you think that he not only is is should be in the Hall of Fame running, but would be a first ballot? My you know my biased opinion is that, but fair is that I don't know. Because I don't know if he has enough to go off of. His teams did not get to the Super Bowl. His teams did not beat the Patriots. You know, his teams did not have a consistent quarterback that helped him, that helped build him up. So I don't know if he deserves a first ballot, but I do believe he should be in 
at least the discussion for a first ballot. I don't think it'll happen, but you know, they got five years to figure it out and who knows what kind of class is going to show up or, you know, is going to be retiring after this season, which I think he'll be a part of that class, that first ballot class, whoever retires at the end of this season. So, and it could, it could include Tony Romo. I mean, you never know. That's another conversation for a whole other video. But what do you think? Do you think that Andre Johnson deserves to be in the Hall of Fame? And if so, will, will he be a, um, is, would he qualify for a first ballot uh, vote? Let me know, KP the Sports Chick at YouTube, and you can hit me up on kpthesportschick.com. You can find my social media links there, so that way you can, if you don't want to leave comments on YouTube, you can leave it on wherever you want, so check me out.